we should talk about this conundrum because it is politically related. We're not often yeah. political on the podcast. But last night, I was at the Bangalore Literature Festival. Hmm. It's a fun, fun event. And the great historian Ram Guha was speaking. Hmm. Uh, and his topic was dismantling the pillars of democracy. Right. And Ram Guha came prepared for a keynote lecture. Four or five pages. But a lit fest, as all of you have been to, Bombay lit fest, wherever, it's a lot of tents. Right. <laughs> right, lots of hundreds of people and most of it is free. So there's a lot of walking, walking in, walking in, so in walking literally out. people who just go in with like, ah, I don't give a shit. I just like, <laughs> like they'll give it four seconds. You know, and the author could be in the middle of anything. You right. know? He could be like, this poem is about my dead wife. I'm leaving. <laughs> But but I, I like you know that what's interesting to me exactly. is that is that is that in in a lot of like it's interesting to me because it, like say it were a like a food fair you know like you'd go you'd get a smell of the place you'd see what they're cooking and you're like nahi, maza nahi aara, and you'd leave right you're like nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. so I, so is a lit fest is a lit fest also exactly like that. like you go from one sort of tent to the other tent sniffing I mean, in this in this case just listening to a few words to see if these words. Like, do they resonate with it's me or do they... absolutely like that. So then you just, like, if you hear just four or five interesting words... Yeah, I mean, I've heard, they're absolutely correct. And, and then in they, Jaipur, I've heard they, they like the words, they'll stay, and then... And in Jaipur, I've heard husband, like, couples say, yeah. you want to stay for murder? You want to stay for murder? <laughs> murder session. He said, no, I'm going to poetry, poetry. Yeah. Aray, murder is good, murder is good. <laughs> so they just, genre, they just literally... They like, like just, yeah. You know, they come in. But yeah, my conundrum was this. The reason I want to bring it to your doorstep right. is it happened last night and we haven't had a chance to speak. But um, so uh, my conundrum was what happens when the lowest status person right. in an evening is suddenly thrust into the highest status problem. So, so what, what happened? Lowest status person at that place was Ram Gua on stage. He right? was the lowest, he was no, in no, the highest. No, he was highest status <laughs> Ram. In this government, I don't know actually. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to do, it's a good question. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good question. Yeah. I don't know what this person is clapping for. <laughs> it's quite concerning what side of the spectrum they're on. So, high status, obviously, the keynote and the, speaker. And the speaker. The, the speaker. man in a suit right. with a speech. Right. Talking about how, uh, obviously, Modi is dismantling different things of democracy. Right. His opinion, fair enough. 1,000 people in Bangalore, lawn of a five star hotel, lots of people, some people going, uh, leaving. But most people, very attentive, just right. like a bomb literature in Bombay Literature Festival, whatever, so, throws it open for Q&A. Right. Every Q&A, as we all know, there's one uncle. Hmm. <laughs> I have some things to say. Hmm. So uncle <laughs> grabs the mic. Hmm. But this was a special uncle. Hmm. Because he realized that if he... Because he had more than a few things to say. <laughs> and he realized if he stood in front of the mic guy's booth, yeah. the mic guy would try to take the mic away from him. Hmm. So he took the mic and ran. <laughs> and he, but he, he started saying his stuff from the from exit. From the back. He said, you are calling uh, Prime Minister Hitler. You are Hitler. Hmm. You are Mussolini. <laughs> he started saying, you should be denied food. <laughs> now, Ram clearly has dealt with this right. often in his life. Right. Right? Nowadays in this in this thing, there must be wherever he speaks, yeah. the TIS, you know, he speaks at various sure, places. Sure. You know, wherever social sciences, he gives keynote lectures yeah. to universities. He had one reaction, like you see on his face he's dealt with this before. So he said, shut off his mic. <laughs> he said, uh, shut off his mic. Now suddenly the power But he was also he was also talking about the, the dismantling of democratic rights. <laughs> okay, okay. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 exactly. No, not that the mic should not have been shut off, but I'm just saying, because sometimes you have to shut off the mic. But that's why everything in India is a conundrum, right? Right, right. So he's talking about free speech. He's shutting off that guy's mic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying in India, you don't have to look for humor. You right. have to be there. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, so he tells that guy, shut off the mic. Right. So now there's a power shift from Ram Guha to sunny mic and sound. <laughs> <laughs> because it says on this board, it says Sunny Mike and Sound, we do bespoke events. Yeah. <laughs> so Sunny Mike and Sound has four mics. Yeah. Now all pressure on Sunny Mike and Sound. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he's the media. He's the media. He's the media. He's, he's Adani. He's like, he's who Adani. can speak, who can't speak? He's like... <laughs> <laughs> 
he's like wondering where is the money coming from where is the money coming from he's like he's like paisa kon de raha hai bhai mic ka paisa kis ne diya acha ram bhai kaato sound kaato so exactly how it was so you used too much pressure for him so first thing he did was took mics ram's mic out accidentally <laughs> So Ram goes, Mera bada. And that guy still from there is shouting, Hitler! Mussolini! Some uncle from the audience said, Usko bada kyo diya? So now the political affiliations of Sunny are suspect. Right. Boy, he's a stooge, huh? He's a hokta. He's just a guy. He doesn't know what to do. And have 1,000 eyes on Sunny. Yeah. What will Sunny do? You know, bikau, <laughs> bikau, <Yeah>. Godi. <laughs> no, Sunny, Sunny. <laughs> he, he was totally devastated. Yeah. So now this guy, he takes out that guy's mic. Yeah. That guy, uncle, drops the mic, starts shouting at the back of the fest. You can't stop me. <laughs> You can't stop me, right? And then Ram, his mic is like, he's like, someone catch him, <laughs> someone catch him, you know? And who? So there's no. I was right at the back. Yeah. One another patron who had come to this, he saw this uncle. Hmm. He told a hotel person, catch him, <laughs> and that guy said, I'm with housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not in that's his remit. He works for the Leela Hotel. Yeah, yeah. He's at housekeeping. Uncle is free. <laughs> Uncle is just <laughs> roaming around right now. Mussolini shouting. <laughs> Hitler, All stop night. this! All night. All night <laughs> with Sadi's mic. And my thing is like in a dismantling of democracy talk. You know, I think it's too much pressure on Sunny. We have, we do bespoke events. Sunny sound, yeah. I, you know. Suddenly, Sunny is Ravish Kumar. You yeah. know, he, the weight, he has to, the, 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 weight, the of weight of the whole event was on Sunny's shoulders. And the the political prowess that he had to carry yeah, on yeah, his. Yeah, yeah. Imagine him going home and say, <laughs> he asking his brother, "Tera event kaisa kya?" He's saying, "Nay, it was fine. You know, badsha aaya, dance kiya, sab log chale." Or tera, "Arey, me desh badal diya." Just do do cordless se, do cordless se desh badal diya. 